Well, I'm glad everybody's back. And you know why? Because today's going to be a really interesting video. Not only did I find unique items like this remote control golf ball, I also found a whole bunch of other stuff I know you're going to be interested in. Plus, most of the stuff I bought this week sold. So not only is this going to be a ride along video, it's also going to be a what sold video. So that's going to be pretty cool. Okay, join me inside. And let's see what this adventure brings. Well, good morning, everyone. We're sitting outside the first Goodwill of the day. But before we go in, I want to give you today's trivia question. I know you're anxious to start thrifting, but I know you're anxious to hear the trivia question, too. Okay, in what year did Walt Disney open up his company? And in what year did he introduce Mickey Mouse? Well, I'll give you those answers later on in the video. But for now, let's get inside. Well, here we are, first store of the day. You know, the first thing I saw was this remote control golf ball. You put it on the ground and you could drive it with that remote control. They were asking $5 for it. And they go for between 20 and 25. So, oh, this was the first item of the day. Over on this aisle, they had a lot of glassware. I saw this Betty Boop coffee mug. It was pretty nice looking. It also had a racing theme. They were only asking $2 for it. And they go for like $15 online. So I put this in the cart. Next, I walked right over to this aisle. because I saw another remote control golf ball. Well, if I liked the first one, I sure had to like this one. So I took this too. I really like both of those remote control golf balls. I liked them so much that I almost kept one for myself. But in the end, I ended up listing both of them on eBay for $19.95 plus shipping. Well, it wasn't long and I got an offer for one for $17.95 plus shipping. So I took the offer, I made a pretty good profit on it, and I still have one more to sell. Okay, now back to the video. Well, the next aisle I visited was their toy aisle, where I saw this Simon Says game. Now, I remember playing these when I was young. It was made by Milton Bradley, which meant it was the older version, because Hasbro makes them now. They were only asking $3 for it, and they go for about $25. Well, when I got the Simon Says game home, I put batteries in it, and it worked. And it worked really well. So that made me happy. So I listed it on eBay for $19.90 plus $11.95 shipping. And within three days it sold. So I was happy again. And I was also happy when I played it because it brought back some memories. Okay, now back to the video. Next I came over to their spooky Halloween aisle. Actually it wasn't that spooky. It was kind of cute. I saw this purple monster. But it's really not a monster. This is Jeff Dunham's ventriloquist dummy made into a bobblehead. They were only asking $2 for it, and they go for $25. That Jeff Dunham Peanuts bobblehead is a pretty cool item, and I like Jeff Dunham as a comedian. Well, it ended up selling for $14.95 plus $9.95 shipping. So I made a nice amount of money on a $2 investment. Okay, now back to the video. This set of shelves was kind of hidden towards the back of their store, so I was pretty curious what they had on it. Well, I saw this mini cassette player. It was a recorder and a player. They were asking $3 for it, and believe it or not, these still go for $15 or $20. Don't ask me why. Well, I had looked pretty much everywhere in this store, so it was time for me to head out. Okay, guys, I'll meet you out in the car, and we'll go to the next exciting store. See you out there. Okay, guys, it's time to be heading to the next store of the day. But before we go, I want to remind you guys that subscribers to my channel get to sit up in the front seat and they have a really great time. Actually, later, we're all going for ice cream. Now, on the other hand, non-subscribers have to sit back there and it's not fun back there and they don't get to go for ice cream either. And on top of that, it's hard to hear. It's just not fun back there at all. Okay, so if you're a non-subscriber and you want to become a subscriber, just click that subscribe button. You'll be transported right up here to the front seat. 
and come have ice cream with us later. Okay, but for now, we got to get into that next door. Let's go. Well, here we are, entering the realm of the Salvation Army. Now, it can be a little scary for people who are visiting for the first time. <coughs> well, not that scary, but overwhelming. And this is a pretty big store, so it's even more overwhelming. Okay, let's get inside. I usually like this Salvation Army store, especially this section of the store, because I usually find some pretty decent stuff. I saw this ceramic rolling pin. They were asking $5.99 for it. It was made by Pioneer Woman, who I've never heard of, but the comps were going for $50 and higher. You know, I had never heard of Pioneer Woman merchandise, but you live and you learn in this business, that's for sure. Well, it ended up selling for $49.95 plus $10.95 shipping. So I was thrilled. Actually, it turned out to be the best buy of the week. Okay, now back to the video. I actually just turned around to see what was on the shelf behind me when I saw this music box. You lift up the roof, it obviously plays music. The water wheel spins. It was really pretty. They were only asking $3.99 for it. And it was made in Switzerland. They go for $25. I had to have it. I walked over to their back wall. Because sometimes I can find some interesting stuff on it. I saw this solar shower. It's for campers or hikers. You can take a shower while out in the wild. It was only $3.99. And they go for $20. It's mine. I walked back over to these shelves that I had searched before. Because I saw a few things that I must have missed. I liked this sheep, but when I picked it up, it was pretty cheap, so I put it back. But next to it was this hound dog. It was $3.99. He was holding a change tray. And they go for like $16. Well, that hound dog figure ended up selling for $16.95 plus $4.95 shipping. So I did okay with that. Now, I like selling animal figures because they usually sell pretty fast. I guess unless it's like an aardvark or something, but usually if it's an animal most people are familiar with, they sell. Okay, now back to the video. Well, we did okay at this store, but we got one more store to go to and I'm pretty anxious to see what's there too. So get behind me. I'm heading up to the cashier and it doesn't look like there's many people online. Okay guys, we're gonna be heading to the last store of the day. But that aardvark won't quit. Okay, you guys go ahead while I try to calm him down, and then I'll meet you at the next store. I'll see you there. When I got to this store, I figured I'd start my search on their toy aisle. I saw this Mickey Mouse Dracula sitting in a pumpkin. He was really cute. They were asking eight dollars for him, which wasn't too cute, but they go for over thirty. So I decided to take it home. I had made a decision to put that Mickey Mouse pumpkin on bid and see where it went. I figured it was Disney and it was also Halloween season, so it might go for pretty good money. Well, it didn't go for that much money. It ended up selling for $21.95 plus $10.95 shipping. Now I made a profit on it, but nowhere near what I thought I was gonna make. Okay, now back to the video. On the shelf right next to the Mickey, I saw these two action figures. Well, the first one was Leatherface. They were asking $5 for it. They're called Toonie Terrors. I looked these up. They go for $25, $30. So I took that one. I went back for the Michael Myers. He goes a little bit cheaper, but I still wanted him too. Well, out of those two action figures, Leatherface was the first one to sell. It sold for $26.95 plus $6.95 shipping. So I was really happy with that. And that Mike Myers one should sell pretty fast too. So I'm not worried about this purchase. I did pretty well on it. Okay, now back to the video. Next, I found myself in their furniture section. And on one of their tables, they had these three hats. They were Starbucks hats. I had never thought about getting Starbucks hats before, but these were $2. They said Miami Open on it. That's a tennis tournament in Miami. 
you know, if hats aren't marked at this store, they're definitely $2 each. So I figured I'd take a chance with them. What do I got to lose? Well, everyone, I had a good time today. Actually, I had a very good time. But now it's time for me to go pay for this stuff, head out to the car, and give you guys an answer to a trivia question. I'll see you out there. Okay, guys, it's that sad part of the day when I have to say goodbye. But I want to give you the answer to today's trivia question before I go. On October 16th, 1923, Walt Disney and his brother Roy opened up what was then called the Disney Brothers Cartoon Studio, later to become just Disney. Well, it was a rocky road at first. They weren't really a, that much of a hit. They had a couple of minor successes. But then, in 1928, they came out with Steamboat Willie. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. Well, that really made them take off. And they started to have a successful business. But then, in 1937, the first animated feature film ever came out. It was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It was a huge success. And they became fairly wealthy over that. Okay, well, that's it for today. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please share this video with a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.